Wow, and just like that, we are live. What's going on guys? Nice to see you. I am here, you're here. Hopefully somebody's here. I don't use this early in the day. It is Consumer Electronics Show 2022. We're inside. We're gonna show you guys what's up and we're gonna walk through this hall and see if it's really as dead. I've been here for a while. I was doing some shooting so I can do a properly edited video to show you the cool highlights. But I thought I would open it up to a live stream. Champagne Poppy's in the house. So let's take a look at everything. As we thank our channel sponsor, Pinai Magazine, and everybody who's watching. And the face mask I was just wearing is available from VegasFaceMask.com. No S at the end. Honolulu, Hawaii is here. We're in the Las Vegas Convention Center. And so much stuff has changed since we were last at the show in 2019. Can you believe it? 2019, 2021, 2022, three years. But here we are, and uh, it's uh, yeah, it's something all right. It's a sight to behold. So Vanessa's here, Pablo's Adventures is here, Martin D's here, Beach All Day is here. Yeah, you guys are awesome for watching my streams. Thank you guys for everything. Yeah, well, I mean, this place is only open till what, six or seven, and my battery will die eventually, and so on, and excuses, excuses. This is a Jeep Wagoneer. It is. Canyonero. Canyonero. Oh, I got a super chat. Mr. Classic TV, thank you so much for punky power. Hey, if somebody out there can hashtag this CES 2022 and share it to Twitter, that would be good. I can't share the direct link for these live streams when I use this app. So if you guys could hashtag CES 2022, share it to Twitter for me, that would be good. So this is the main uh, old, this is the old Las Vegas Convention Center. The, the first one, it, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's depressing as hell. You don't wanna go through there. It's vehicle tech, it's pretty cool. I, I put it on the other video I'm gonna edit and do, but the problem is I can't go between the two because I'm limited. Uh, I have to go through like bag checks and metal detectors. They don't let you do that while you're streaming. We have lots of, technology companies. TCL is like one of the biggest brand selling televisions on the planet Earth. But we have to go through the Samsung booth. Do you guys want me to go to Samsung? It's called Samsung City. It's huge. These guys technically sell more TVs than Samsung, but don't tell Samsung that. Number two for share. What's that? Number Are you the number two? Who's the number one? I, you're number two? Who's number one, I'm asking? I don't know, LG maybe for panels? I don't know. High sense? No, I hope not. They suck. No. You gotta see. LG or Samsung? LG or Samsung. These guys are number two. I was wrong. But these guys sell a lot of TVs, man. Yeah, TCL. They make good Roku built in TVs. We have a Roku Ultra. All right. So, Targus. This is what I never, I never buy this brand. You see, this? these guys are generally not the best products, but they won some CES awards this year. So how's the crowds? There are no crowds. It's it's slow. I mean, <laughs> elephant in the room. But there's some cool products out here that you guys might like to see too. I mean, this is actually a backpack plus iPhone locator. So this has a Find My iPhone device inside of it. So if you lost this backpack, it's sewn in. And this would be findable off of your actual iPhone Find My. Yeah, there it is. So instead of just dropping something in here that somebody could find and throw away, the whole backpack is enabled. That's great. What do these retail for? So we're just announcing yesterday. Yeah. Uh, we anticipate 149. 149. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's not bad. You won't lose your stuff. Not gonna lose your stuff. Or you'll lose your stuff and not the backpack. And it's secured in there, so that's <laughs> the whole idea. I mean, you're not just securing the backpack with all your valuables inside. Gotcha. All right. Good work on the award, guys. Thank you. Thank so you. yeah, they won this uh, innovation award here, I think. So that's cool. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of neat. You know, you see new products, you see things that are potential products that may not ever come to market. And then you have a lot of cool stuff out here. All right. Box International, this thing? So it's 13 degrees in Hawaii? What, did somebody say that? I don't make sense to me. No, no way. All right, let's go over though. We got to see that Samsung city. That's pretty damn big. Hey, look, it's the real media. <laughs> They got real cameras and junk. Anyways. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if somebody wants to share this with hashtag CES 2022 and say, hey, this guy's streaming live from the show. This is a big screen. Oh my gosh. This is an extra large TV. Holy smokes. 
store XL collection. Compared to a human box. being, look how big this thing is. So this is our 98 inch. This is the Google TV that we have. Whew. Jeez Louise. 96 inch TV. Reminds me of the Weird Al Yankovic song, Frank's 2000 inch TV. <laughs> of course, I'm the nerd that was singing the Canyon Arrow song. <laughs> That's one mile per the gallon city, two miles on the highway. No, no, nowadays everything's electric. Kilowatt hours. Minus 33 degrees Celsius. So I know Samsung has an 80, no, a 90 inch panel that sells for $30,000. Generally, these are not something that most people buy. You're not locking into Best Buy and picking that up. But let's go and take it. Speaking of Samsung, <laughs> they are pretty much the only part of CES that reminds me of CES at this point. Like, as you see, it's essentially like crammed in. Oh my gosh, thank you. Definitely been open to the public. I know, that was my idea. Make this thing open to the public. I guarantee to you, if you, if you said, just some an absurd number, $100. Hey, you wanna buy a CES pass? $100. Got to be fully vaccinated. I had to show my vaccine papers. They even gave me one of these, which is worth like $10 million nowadays, or worth money online. But I mean, if you had said $100, I guarantee you, people would have paid it. You would have made huge bank on some of this stuff, you know? So I get to go through the media access. So yeah, what's the, um, what's the, what's the, what's the, Thank you so much. This is fast track invite only. Ooh, hoo, hoo. media gets to bypass the lineup, but there is no lineup because there's not a lot of people here. So this is the new uh, Samsung stuff here. Binax is very effective. We have we have what, four or five of them at our house. I bought them when it wasn't hoarding. Do you remember on Twitter when I told you guys, you guys really need to go and like buy these things and everybody said you're stupid there's not gonna be a surge and I was like yes there is I told you and so I bought a bunch before it was uh, hoarding there was like a hundred of them at a Walmart I bought five so don't get mad at me so I think this is an 85 inch screen oh Sarah H with her 14 months of membership thank you so much Sarah so this is a Neo QLED this is the nicest TV that Samsung makes and because I'm on the wide angle so let's switch to this. Oh my God. It's like that dung beetle is really in more front of me. More colors equals more detail. More colors, more detail, more contrast, more. And this is our more everything. Wow, look at the menu system on a Samsung TV now. Gosh, that's crazy. Gulu, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so Samsung has some other cool stuff here that I want to show you that I've already seen. Some of it. I'll show you guys some of this stuff. If you don't know where we are, we're at the Consumer Electronics Show 2022. We're in Samsung City right now. So here we go. The safety, oh my God, Intel Wild. Android products. There's no Apple products at this place, buddy. Your safety is important to us. Keep one direction of traffic. No one's doing that. No one's doing that. Everybody's doing this. I swear to you, there is nobody not wearing a mask in here. And I don't know what the hell, avoid foods and beverages, but the food court's wide open. So uh, we're gonna look at some, yeah, we'll see some Android phones. The only place to really see them is here. Nobody else has Android phones. This isn't Mobile World Congress. That's a show that happens in Europe. But we got, who, who wants this fridge? Look how skinny this fridge is. Where's the Atari booth? I know, right, Mike? Mike, I sent you messages. Did you see them? Any idea how skinny this thing is? Look how skinny this is. Like, as skinny as I am, that's ridiculous. Nobody likes that. Very cool. Thank you so much. Our stream. Well, what's this look like inside? Ooh, sexiness. So you can stack them, she's saying. So you can put these side by side by side if you wanted to. Because of how they open, I guess. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see. Skinny. All right, I like it. Yeah, everybody's wearing masks out here. Nobody is uh, not adhering. 
Yeah, that's your body part one. That's your Dexter, that's your Dexter fridge or your Dahmer fridge. All right, so this is kind of cool. So this display here, if I can zoom in on it, is showing you the Samsung Galaxy uh, Flip Fold. I don't know what the hell this is. So this is the assembly of these beasts. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And it's showing them going in unassembled and coming out assembled, I guess. So this is some Samsung Galaxy stuff here. And uh, this is where all of their products are for mobile and everything like that around here. So let's check this out. Of course, Samsung hasn't announced any new phones here at the show. They will be doing that on their own. This is something I talked about in my uh, video about CES and whether or not it's quote unquote dead to do these kinds of conventions. I mean, these are Windows based computers. I don't see any, I don't know if there's any Chromecasts. So these are Windows based. And then we have our, our Samsung Galaxy phones here. Of course, I mean, it's a sexy phone, it's a nice phone, nothing wrong with it. But they did introduce one phone model here called the FE21 or something like that. But I haven't seen anything that's super innovative, just existing products. What's up, guys? I've been back, baby. I've been doing videos every day. I recorded a bunch of stuff. This is if you really buy into the Samsung ecosystem. You have your Samsung Galaxy Tab. S7, you have your Samsung Galaxy Watch, you have your Samsung Galaxy Fold. You've not seen one of these, by the way. These are actually nice. I don't buy these because the cameras are terrible on them and the processors are not as fast as they need to be, but this phone, with one hand, opens up and uh, it's, it's kind of gorgeous. I mean, it's got a gorgeous screen in it to be truthful with you. And it closes, and it's about the size of an old-fashioned phone. Samsung Galaxy Buds, Samsung, don't know the model of this computer, but these are all Windows. I don't think they make Chromebooks anymore, honestly, they used to. Samsung used to be all in for Chromebooks. Anyways, yeah, there you go. So this is the Samsung Android stuff. No new Android phones, unfortunately, but uh, this is a, no, this is not a Chromebook thought it was but it's not any real cool customized cars with killer audio systems so i know i don't think mercedes-benz is uh doing anything here oh this is the other version of the samsung phone to show you guys this is the flip so you can see that this phone is like your old-fashioned motorola razor phone but there you go and it also has an always on display here that you can actually see and touch. It shows you the time and very little else, but it's still cool if you like these kinds of stuff. Um, it's, you know, it's a nice phone. It's Android, so all you iPhone lovers are not gonna be in for that, but it's uh, it's neat because, you know, you got the full, if you wanna charge $3,000 for a phone, those are about, those are about 1,500 bucks. Expensive. Anyways. Yeah, lots of big screens out here. Lots of big stuff out here. So we have the future home experience where now Samsung is all about avatars and, and what have you. Yeah, you're gonna live in the metaverse, whether you like it or not. Let's check out some more stuff around the convention center here. Thanks you guys for watching. Thank you for Tony Tony and for Mr. Classic TV for the super chats. So I love how it said, don't eat, but here we go. There's a Quiznos. Toasty subs, everybody. How much is a sub? $75. No, that's a lie. I don't think it's $75. So you can see the amount of empty space out here. It's empty space everywhere you look. But that's okay. You know, what can I tell you? Samsung. Samsung makes microphones. I haven't seen any chats from anybody. I don't know if the chats have died out on me for some reason they do that sometimes. So if you're chatting and I'm not replying, it's because I'm not seeing them. The last one I saw was from our friend Brenda. Okay, there's Martin. Where are we? Wow, Mal's working for it. I like Martin's sense of humor. Oh, he put the th You said I'll probably send you some bits. God, more cashless. 
So let's see if we can find any more interesting tech here. It's all scattered. The setup for this where you would have had most of the Samsung one because quite frankly you know I saw some cars by uh, Fisker I didn't know Fisker even made cars anymore like we have some amazing drones here stuff like this gosh look at that deal I mean that's insanity you can change the lens on that thing for gosh sakes beats the hell out of my DJI but I love my DJI this is like for production this thing is massive, dude. Look at this thing. The propeller. Like, I'm not going to touch it, but you can wrap your hand around this thing. Do a commando roll. I don't get... The, I get the do a barrel roll reference. So, we got to walk some more. What's also changed here, honestly, guys? The amount of bandwidth here is ridiculous. Carol, we're at the Las Vegas Convention Center. Last time I streamed this, it was like in 280p, 240p now at this point here's the playstation car by the way at this point um this whole thing is in literal uh, 5g ultra wide bandwidth it's it's so nice so this is the vision s01 the sony car this is gonna i'm not a true fan pr i've not seen enough schwarzenegger films sony has this uh, this is this one here has been in production this is the one though that they want to produce. They're using an Austrian automobile manufacturer. I really should film this for my main, my main um, non-streamed blog. I'm gonna to have to remember to come back here after this stream is done. So this is the Vision SO2. Sony really wants to make this car. Yeah, so a technology company like Sony could could pull it off <laughs> all electric obviously i mean geez look at this thing it's beautiful isn't it gorgeous <laughs> so sony looks like they're going really heavy on auto tech man this is kind of surreal out here very chill look at these drones man so this is where you basically hang a Sony cinema camera off of it. So to give you an example, this is a camera that somebody like me would use or another YouTuber would use. Um, that, that camera by itself, this likely weighs a pound, oops, pound and a half. I didn't mean to touch it like that. Please do not touch, it says right there. So that's cars, go figure, right? big displays yeah I mean that camera will record 4k 60 for maybe even 4k 120 those are some pretty badass cameras honestly let's see here and apparently Sony makes satellite dishes I'm not even kidding <laughs> so uh okay So there you go. Who would have known, right? You guys? And uh, we got our little promotional video right here for this deal. Jeez Louise. Wasn't enough to make PlayStations. Well, Sony's always made a lot of things, though. I mean, most of these companies do different things that you never heard of. So we have our PlayStation stuff out here. There's a pawn shop in town selling. That's the value of these things nowadays. Sony does make good headphones, as Intel Wild keeps reminding me. I almost bought a pair over Christmas. I don't know if it's a home use satellite you can launch by yourself. I'm, I'm pretty positive that you need some kind of clearance, but I guess maybe not. I mean, yeah, I, I think it's it's for commercials. So, if, well, you know, you could take that satellite, have a camera, take photos. You wouldn't have to pay for satellite real estate. Satellite real estate, satellite photographs. I mean, there's there's a benefit of that there. So Sony is kind of crushing it. And then we have smaller vendors out here. This looks more like a traditional show. Yeah, yeah. You launch it with a Sony railgun. 
get your plasma rifle, get your uh, your Quake 3 railgun technology going on. I'm not gonna say cheapens, yeah, I'm gonna say. This cheapens the feel of CES. We just saw those amazing displays and then I have this that looks like it comes from a swap meet. I'm telling it like it is, folks. I'm telling it like it is. I wonder if they got a deal to be here because nobody's here. If you watch enough YouTube, you know what this company is, Raycon. <laughs> YouTubers, it's kind of ridiculous. They don't sponsor me. My sponsor is Panay Magazine. Hey, what's up, Matt S? Nice to see you, buddy. Neil Macedo. Salamat, Neil. We appreciate you. Three Aussie dollary dues on a super chat. Thank you, my man. Yeah, I mean, I gotta say, trailer park vendors. Look at this, it's a giant poop. Oh, it's not a poop, it's a nose. The nose knows, I thought you were a turd. That's terrible. Get an even t <laughs> Our mascot is a giant burnt nose. It's not funny. That's the first part of your face that gets skin cancer usually. Gosh darn it. Who thought that through? I'm not joking. <laughs> oh goodness gracious me. Credit cards only. Whoever said that their cashless was right. Yeah, they do look like country fair vendors. I'm just expecting to see Vince with the slap shop. The slap shop, you know. Let me show you this. This is great, guys. Look at this. You're so tired of onions making your eyes hurt. Look at this. Look at this. Your eyes hurt. You're crying. You look like you look like a damn girl. Look, slap chop. Put that onion in there. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> I'm looking for that. <laughs> Next to the Sony booth. The Sony's executives are out here going, what did we pay for, man? This makes no sense. <laughs> By the way, the guy from Vince from Slap Chop, his, his real name, his, his birth name, he's from Israel. His birth name is Vince Shlombi. I'm not making any of this up. Shlombi. And I'm not making fun of the name, but that's his name. And then he came to America and he changed his name legally to Vince Offer. Offer, no kidding. Look, we got more swap meet vendors out here. And uh, he ended up uh, going to county fairs. He was just a salesperson. And he went to county fairs and he purchased uh, the entire inventory and the naming rights and the rights to to sell the, the, the chopper. Or was it the ShamWow? Either one of those two products. And the rest, as they say, is history. There you go. NLV or anyone in the CS show, similar to SEMA where it's industry people only. Yes, Joey, it is industry only. The only way to get in is to prove your credentials. So either you work in the CS industry or your media. So like I got this, this is my media badge. I'm not leaving Las Vegas to YouTube, media. And uh, you, you have to register online. And so I did that. And uh, they tell you when you get this, that, um, they, they tell you when you get this badge that it's $300 to replace your badge if you lose it. And if you don't have your badge, you can't go in anywhere. Well, to get your badge, you have to uh, present your photo ID and then your vaccination record. I just went on the State of Nevada's website and printed mine out. State of Nevada, they, they spelled my name incorrectly. So I couldn't find it at first. But the date of birth is right and the, the date I got the vaccine is right. Drake, I didn't pay anything to attend this one um, because I'm media and because a friend of mine, which I, I should probably text him and say hello. He might even be here. Jeremy, I'm not going to say his last name. He actually connected me with CES credentials in 2019. So uh, I got in and then I kept it going over the shutdown years and all that stuff. And then this year I filled everything out on time and here I am. So we have a lot of companies that are just dead. This is a dead show, man. I'm trying to find, you know, hey, where's the cool cars and stuff, but so far nothing. Any idea on how much it costs? No, I don't know, honestly. I mean, most people here, like I say, they have a booth or they have a company sponsoring them. So I'm not sure. I don't know. If anybody can Google that for us, that would be handy. 
after this there's some other stuff i gotta film too so hopefully see us a hundred dollars tim says okay there you go but you still have to prove your credentials you can't just you can't just walk in the door and be like i want to see cs again if they had opened it up to everybody that would have been good do they offer meals no not at all everything here is a la carte they don't offer any shuttles for free um, that I know of. Maybe your hotel might offer it. I was out there checking out the transportation uh, deal and it's uh, one lady's like, yep, it's $10 for this shuttle and $15 for that shuttle. So that's good. Did you get to the shot show? No, I probably could. I just, if I apply, I just, I know shot is the uh, shot show is, you know, guns and shooting and knives and stuff. I know somebody who's wife was a world champion knife thrower. She competed internationally and what have you. So, <clears throat> you know, yeah, there's a lot of little vendors out here. Kind of, uh, kind of embarrassing if you say so myself. Is the Tesla thing operating? It is operating. I'm going to do a video on it today. We're not going to do it together on this choppy live stream that... <laughs> what do you think the chances are that when we go underground, there's no signal, boys and girls? I'd say a 99% chance there's no signal down there unless they were forward thinking and realized that people here have to do business continuously. But uh, I'm gonna video it separately. Heard CES is down 70%. Could be. Could be, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, I was at that event and it was packed. There was very little empty space at that event. There was one spot where there was some empty space, but nothing like that here. Nothing like today. So as we walk this way, we're gonna get out to the main hallway that connects things. My first ever experience in Vegas uh, that was like coming here not just to look at big buildings and stuff. It's, uh, it was in 2004. And I came here because a friend of mine brought me here to work. And um, I remember setting up right in this area right here. I had nothing. I mean, I was broke, working for a family member. Basically, was like a slave to him. And um, he set me up to make some extra cash. We were setting up the World of Concrete Expo. Tim says the newly added North Edition. Tim, the newly added North Edition is freaking laughable. It's a nice building. Oh my God, it's beautiful. But I suspect that there's gonna be a lot of people there once this whole thing about, I don't know, you know COVID and everything gets kind of done. But right now, there's hardly anybody in there. I filmed some of that. So here's a Bugatti supercar. You guys like cars? Jay says you need an mRNA vaccine to get in. That's not true. I have a DNA-based vaccine, which is the Johnson & Johnson, and they let me in just fine. You need a vaccine. Justin asked for the new mail truck. You will see it once you watch my regular video because I'm editing it tonight. I should have it up tomorrow because I did video that mail truck specifically. It's called the duck. No, it's not really called the duck, but it says it's like an NG something V kind of a experimental model. But yeah, I filmed that one, but I'm, I don't think I'm very near it. I know the USPS exhibit is one of the bigger ones you see let's go back this way dave cast steven it's been a while i hope you're doing well keep up the good work thank you dave cast dave cast is always our friend that says donate your paycheck to steven somebody said this is mean you should ban him i'm like no no dave cast is cool he's been saying that for a year it's funny it's a joke so i i know where you're coming from dave thank you for the five dollar super chat i appreciate you brother so, computer chairs. I sorely, badly need a computer chair in my office. My chair is horrible. It doesn't turn like these will turn. Mine like hits a little thing and it's so uncomfortable, but whatever. We can show you this. I don't want to show you this though. All right, look, there it is. 
That's the duck. You'll see it closer up in my other video. Okay? There it is. Tony, Tony! Please show the color changing BMW that switches from black to white. If I knew where that was, I would show it to you. There's so much stuff here. And I can only go today. Yesterday and tomorrow, we're busy doing husband and wifey stuff. Well, let's go to the next center, the next hall, that is. So, I also show this. Thank you, Tony, Tony. I'll try to find that if I can. I'm gonna go up to, uh, to the next exhibit hall. So I'm also gonna have to plug in my phone and try to stream with my phone plugged in or else I'm not gonna have any battery later. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the new generation of postal van, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So that's what you're gonna be seeing coming up to your house eventually. Oops, son of a gun. You ruined your stream, Steven. What did you do? Hold on. Okay, hold on. We can fix this. There it is, good, okay. If everyone is vaxxed and boosted, why are they wearing masks? I don't know, you'd have to walk, um, talk to the show organizers. Okay, so, this is what LG did. They bought this extended space. You install an app on your phone. It's a ridiculously sized app. Dave Cass says we need a super chat search, okay. Then you scan this and then it pops up the product in front of you using augmented reality. I did record that for you guys. I screen recorded that, captured that screen so you guys can see what that looks like. So I gotta press the button or else my phone doesn't charge. This charger is great, but it um, has a fail safe. Boop. Okay, now I think I'm charging. You wear the mask for bad breath, okay? Sure you do, sure you do. <laughs> So somebody says, let's see here. I'm gonna remove our channel sponsor for a minute. We got a shutdown warning from our app, which is stupid. So let's get going and to the next area. So this is the main little hallway that connects things from one section to the other. So if you're just checking out, we're here at CES 2022. That way is the main entrance down there. It's called Mass, oh gosh. I promised myself I wouldn't get political. I found this technology to be really cool right out here. So I put this in the main blog I'm doing too. This is called Next Gen TV. So Next Gen TV is ATSC, which is the American Television Standards Council. Basically, right now you can get high definition TV over the air, but you can't get 4K. So I believe this delivers this picture, 4K, to your standard TV. It also does Dolby Atmos, which is surround sound, obviously. And it allows interactive program guides without a cable box, without a Roku, without a Fire Stick, without Chromecast, without apps. And it's uh, in a lot of markets. If you live in any of these places, you basically have this already, but you need a TV that supports it. But that's a big deal, you know, that's a big deal. So let's go to the next area, because this goes all the way down here. And I didn't go this far last time. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, Stephen. Dave from Ireland. It was great to meet you on New Year's Eve. Oh, thank you. Oh, but it's fine. Hey, hey, Dave. So this event is not open to the public. This event is for media and um, it's for industry only. So you have to prove your credentials to get in. There's a lot of people from overseas here, though. People from Sweden and Norway, Hungary. I've seen all sorts of people. You can kind of know where people are from by looking at their badges. So you got to stare at people's chests. Don't stare at the women's chests to look at their badges because then you're just a creep. <laughs> JJ, everybody knows what that is. I have it on my Twitter. I posted about how it created what's called the Streisand effect. Do you guys want to hear what the Streisand effect is? It's very interesting. Say yes in the chat if you care. The Streisand effect? That sounds like a singer. Well, say yes in the chat if you care. Will I be on this weekend? Yes, I'll be on this weekend. Drake G, this is not the Streisand. Hates everything. Well, she's angry and I'm sorry. She's a good singer, but she's just kind of an angry person. Steven Prorazek, 2022. Thank you so much, Steven. I appreciate your brother. You're awesome. Guys, say thank you to Steven 280 times. She flipped out because I think our news reporter or some journalist or media person 
And so she made a really big deal out of it, like a huge deal. And of course that made people wonder, what the hell's in your backyard, Barbara? So they all wanted to take pictures of her backyard. See, banning something makes people more interested in it. So if you wanna take Joe Rogan's podcast off of YouTube and you wanna ban Dr. Malone, people then become interested about what they're being banned for and what they're being taken down for, and you drive people to it. <laughs> so good work if you were trying to get people away from the information, you just drove them to the information. Do I think 170,000 came out? No way, not even close. No way, not even close. No, I mean, there's maybe, well, how the hell do I even know how many people are here? I mean, this is the second day. There's gonna be a third tomorrow. They canceled the fourth day. So I'm looking for the BMW car. And you know what? I thought we could go down here and see more of it, but no, because this takes you to the front of Samsung City, which we were just in. You know? Greg will message me on symbol signal. Thank you, Matt. Greg, I appreciate you, brother. If you guys are some of the folks that have um, stuff in play relating to Ethereum, you can check out the TKEX Exchange thread over on Instagram. They are servicing loans at 0 0.03 a day. So we're doing two loans a day and we'll get to you guys and the returns are slower than they were, but still faster than a bank. Donde este tag, bro? I don't know what tag is, but where is the what? T-O-G-G, -G? I don't know. Tog? What is Tog? Is there a map showing where the vendors are located? Probably, there's these magazines, unless there's no magazines. What is this? Please take, oh God, no. Please use a sticker to show others how you prefer to engage. Green means I'm okay with handshakes. Yellow means I'm okay with elbows and fist bumps. Red means no touching, I'm just happy waving hello. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take one of these, and we're gonna take one of these, and one of these. Let's have a seat for a minute. Okay, not worth going this year, so I purchased tickets to see the Golden Knights tonight. Rich, my man, I thought you said you were at registration at the uh, one of the hotels and it wasn't busy. Paul Martinez, thank you so much. So let's see here. Hi, everybody. Hi, Dr. Nick. So let's not have this man's privacy. So we have, I'm completely antisocial and freaked out and I shouldn't be at the show. So I'm gonna put this one on here. Okay, then we have, well, you can talk to me, but don't stare at me because don't breathe on me, bro. We have this one here. And then we have this one here. <laughs> Paul Martinez, thank you for the second super sticker. This one here. So we're really gonna confuse people. And look at me, I'm the Famicom logo from the 1980s and 1990s, 1990s that is. I never like handshakes to begin with, so I'm okay never coming back. <laughs> what if you sit down and unzip your fly? Does that mean you still prefer a fist bump? I don't care, as long as you have a vaccine, mask, you don't have to wear pants, okay? Just shut up. BMW is outside, I think. Well, they're not outside this way. And by the way, once we leave, we are not coming back in. Is this the car section? Where is the car section? Yeah, it says you must have a badge. No, this is the this is the parking lot section. So I don't know where it is. If somebody knew where it is, I'd go there. Tog Turkey's new electric car. Oh, okay. Tom, I don't know. There's so many manufacturers of cars. It is great. Clint says the weather's great. It is. The weather is fantastic. It is uh, currently 61 degrees. Low of 37, high of 63. Yeah, there is an information booth. But there's usually never a person in it. But there is a person in it. So let's wait and let's uh, yammer into the camera for a while. And see where the BMW is. Because I might, again, I might film this for my main blog. Like the main blog can be as long doesn't really matter. Let's make sure my phone is charging. The best freebie this year was the free COVID test. Yeah, Rich, I got one of those. I didn't use it. Like, I don't have COVID. Pretty sure I'm superhuman because I've been around so many people that have been tested positive and I've never tested positive. Yeah, we went to the empty LG booth. LG has a bunch of, uh, a bunch of augmented reality scans and stuff. 
There's not really a cool food court, but there is a food court. So let's ask. All right, thank you. Hi, where's the BMW area? There would be an automotive there. Is it the West north? Hall. Is it the West Hall? So it's in this building or is it in the... It's in the building across the street. Across the street, okay. Yes, that's sir. what I thought. Okay, thanks. So here's what's really funny. This guy didn't even speak. He canceled his keynote, but they already published the magazine, so go figure. So evidently it's in the West Hall. I completely missed it. I'll go back to the West Hall and see if I can film some more stuff, I guess. We won't be able to get into the West Hall um, because we'll have to go through the uh, security checkpoint again and we can't stream through the security checkpoint. But uh, we'll see what I can do to get it on there. So we, we checked out the main two halls of CES. We have the West Hall. I'm going to get the Sony car on the video and stuff like that too. So pretty cool, guys. Where am I broadcasting from, Mike? We're at the Las Vegas Convention Center for CES 2022. So you guys have been great. Just a shorty today. We appreciate it. Uh, check out our jewelry over at Resorts World. We have VegasFaceMask.com. These ones, uh, I don't fiddle with them really, and uh, they stay around. They slip down a little bit, and uh, they go around the back of your head, not your ears. All right, so I will take the tunnel, but I'll video that for you guys. You guys have been great. Now's the time to video. I got to go film that Sony car, go to the West Hall, try to get that other stuff because the Tesla tunnel goes through the West Hall. When we say three, two, one, click. You guys are wonderful. Three, two, one, and click.